Hello, may I speak to Alice, please? You're talking to her. I've called you a hundred times today. I was busy doing something. I apologize. That's all right. So, what were you calling me about? Oh, I just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out tomorrow. Sounds good. What did you have in mind? Maybe we can go see a movie or something. Okay, let's go see a movie. Call me tomorrow then. See you then. Goodbye. I'll have a whole wheat loaf, three white loaves, a baguette, and ten rolls, please. How much is that? The whole wheat loaf is 45 cents, the white loaves are 35 cents each, the baguette is 27 cents, and the rolls are 8 cents each. That makes $2.57. There you go. Thank you, madam. 43 cents change. Have a nice day. Were you able to attend Friday night's basketball game? No, I couldn't make it. You should have been there. It was intense. Is that right? Who ended up winning? Our school did. They played really well. I really wish I went to the game. It was a great game. So what was the score? The other team lost by three points, 101 to 98. Sounds like it was a close game. That's what made it so great. Hopefully I'll make it to the next one. Hello? Hi, Deborah. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. What are you doing in Australia? I'm attending a conference in Sydney this week, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. I absolutely love what you're wearing today. Thank you. I just got this outfit the other day. What store did you get it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. It's really nice. Well, I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought these new shoes earlier today. Really? What kind of shoes are they? These are Chuck's. Those are great. How much were they? They were about $40. I'm going to get a pair for myself. Hey, are you getting dressed? Yes, I am. Why? What time is it? It's a quarter to eight. I'm going to work. But it's Saturday. I'm working on Saturday mornings this month. Are you getting up? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm staying in bed. Okay. See you at noon. If I'm awake. There's a new girl in school. Have you seen her yet? No, I haven't. She's one of the prettiest girls at the school. Tell me how she looks. She's not too tall. How tall would you say that she is? She's probably about five feet. What does she look like, though? She has light brown eyes. Absolutely beautiful. I think I might have bumped into her before. So you have seen her around? I think that I have. How old are you, Philip? I'm 20 years old, but I'm going to be 21 on August 5th. That's next Friday. What are you going to do? Catherine's going to take me to a restaurant. Nice. Is she going to order a birthday cake? Probably. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Oh, I bet it's going to be fun. I don't know. I hope so. When's your birthday, Amy? It's in September. September what? September 17th. And are you going to be 21? I'm 21 now. I'm going to be 22. Oh, so do you have any plans? Well, my birthday is on a Saturday this year, so I'm going to have a party. And of course, I'm going to invite you and Catherine. Can you come? Well, I think I can. And Catherine can probably come too. You have any ideas as to what you want to do this weekend? I'm going to see a movie with a friend of mine. What about you? I'm not sure yet. 
How about you see a movie with me and my friend? Do you know what movie you're going to watch? I'm not sure yet. Is there something you want to see? No good movies come to mind. Well, would you like to go? No, thanks. Maybe another time. For sure, another day. Dr. Ryan's office. Hello, this is Susan West. Can I make an appointment on Friday the 17th? Okay, Ms. West. In the morning or afternoon? In the afternoon. Can you come at 4 p.m.? That's fine. And what's the problem, Miss West? I have a terrible backache. I can't even sit down. Okay. Take these pills every four hours. Stay in bed this week. And don't lift heavy things. Thanks, Dr. Ryan. What time does the next train to London leave? At 16.35 from Platform 8. Is it a direct train to London? No, you have to change trains at Birmingham. I see. One ticket to London, please. Single or return, sir? Single, please. £64, please. Here you are. Here's your ticket and change, sir. Room service. Good morning. This is room 113. I'd like some breakfast, please. Right. Excuse me, Mrs. Jones? That's right. What can I do for you? I'd like some grapefruit juice, marmalade, two scrambled eggs with two sausages, toast, and a pot of black coffee, please. How long will it take? Just a few minutes, ma'am. Great. Thank you. Do you plan on attending the party on Saturday? I haven't decided yet. Are you going to go? Yes, I'm going, because it's going to be so much fun. For real? What time is the party? The party is at 8, and I hope to see you there. Maybe I will go. Who's going to be there? The whole school is going to be there. What's going to be so much fun about this party? There's going to be a live DJ Food and drinks at the party. It seems like it will be a very good time. So I guess I'll see you there. Indeed. I need to join the fun. Hi, Celia. How was your trip to the United States? It was terrific. I really enjoyed it. Great. How long were you away? I was there for about three weeks. That's a long time. Was the weather okay? Yes, most of the time. But it snowed a lot in Chicago. So, what was the best thing about your trip? Oh, that's difficult to say. But I guess I liked Nashville the best. Hi, Julie. How are things going? Everything is great, Tad. How are you? I'm doing really well. Tad, I'm pretty hungry right now. Want to walk over and check out the food table? Julie, do you know who that woman is over there by the window? That is Mary. I heard that she's moved in with Lee. I thought that he was with Malia. Oh, that relationship is history. Malia hooked up with a guy she met on holiday. I bet that Lee wasn't too happy with that. Actually, he was okay with it. They hadn't been getting along too well. Where do you work, Andrea? I work for Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. That sounds interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven.
I want to go to the beach tonight. That sounds like fun. Which one are you thinking about? I was thinking Malibu, unless there is another beach you want to go to. How about Santa Monica? I don't really like that beach, as the water seems really dirty. The only thing I like about that beach is the pier. At night, that pier is absolutely beautiful. What is it like at Malibu Beach? I love that beach because it's just so nice. So we're going to go to Malibu? Well, if you don't want to go to Malibu, we can go to Santa Monica. We can always go to Santa Monica another day. Say, Anna, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm going to work late tonight. I have to finish this report. Well, how about tomorrow night? Are you doing anything then? No, I'm not. What are you planning to do? I'm going to see a musical. Would you like to come? Sure, I'd love to. But let me pay for the tickets this time. It's my turn. All right, thanks. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll catch up on my reading. What about you? Any plans? Well, my parents have rented a condominium in Florida. I'm going to take long walks along the beach every day and do lots of swimming. Sounds great. Say, why don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. Do you mean it? I'd love to. Their wedding was absolutely beautiful. It really was. I want a wedding like that. How much do you think they spent on their wedding? I think it might have cost them a nice chunk of change. Do you want a big wedding like that? Not really. I'd rather have a small wedding. I wouldn't want a small wedding. Why not? I want my wedding to be big and memorable. It can be small and memorable, too. Well, to each his own. You are absolutely right. Hello? Hi, Tracy. This is Michael. Is Jennifer there? I'm sorry, Michael. She's at her parents' house. She's having dinner with them. Do you want to leave her a message? Oh, I'm not sure. It's a little complicated. I have an idea. I'm going out now, so call again and leave her message on the machine. That's a good idea. And don't worry, I'm not going to listen to it. Thanks, Tracy. You're a real pal. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's helpful to chop up some garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Then drink a cup every half hour. It really works. Ugh. My ear is killing me. What's the matter? I was on a plane. So? So every time the plane goes up, my ears start to hurt. That's no good. Sometimes the pain goes away and sometimes it doesn't. Have you seen a doctor? I've been to two doctors. And they couldn't fix your problem? They both said I have to live with it. Or you can stay off planes. Look at this headline, Sumi. Wow. So many people in the United States get divorced. Is it the same in Korea? I don't think so. In Korea, some marriages break up, but most couples stay together. Do people get married young? Not really. Very few people get married before the age of 20. Hmm. Do women usually work after they get married? No. A lot of women stay home and take care of their families. But some work. Is this a clean restaurant? Well, the tables and chairs look okay. Okay. Let's sit down. Check out the silverware. It passes inspection. Here comes the waiter. See if his hands and nails are clean. Well, the waiter looked clean, so I guess it's okay to eat here. 
You're forgetting about the bathroom. I'm going to just hope that the bathroom is clean. You're not going to examine it before we order dinner. No, I'd rather not find out that it's dirty because I'm pretty hungry right now. Me too. Let's forget about germs and focus on food. Can you help me, please? Is there a public restroom near here? I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a bathroom. Well, there's a department store on Grant Street. There are restrooms in the basement. Where on Grant Street? Between 2nd and 3rd Streets. The store is across from the hotel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am? How much is a stamp to send a letter to France, please? Air mail or surface mail? Air mail, please. That'll be 85 cents. Four stamps, please. How much is that? Three dollars and forty cents. There you go. Mr. Lee, would you and your wife be free next Friday night? I don't think we have any plans. But I would need to see what my wife has planned. Why? My wife mailed a written invitation to your wife, asking you both to our dinner party. It would be our pleasure to join you for dinner. What type of party is it? We've always wanted to have a formal dinner party. I think we would enjoy that, especially our wives. Four other couples are coming, so I'm hoping for some interesting conversation. I am sure we will have a great time. Will some of the couples be from our company? Yes. You will know all of our guests. I'll make sure to check the mail for our invitation. Your dinner plans sound wonderful. So, did you go out with Richard? Yeah. We went to a movie last Saturday. We saw Police Partners too. Did you like it? Richard did, but I didn't. Of course, I told him I liked it. Yeah. So, did you do anything else? Well, we went to a dance club. Did you have fun there? Yeah, we had a great time, and we're going to go there again next week. What kind of music do you enjoy listening to? I like listening to different kinds of music. What genres? I like to listen to rock and R&B. Why is that? I enjoy the different types of instruments that they use. I think that's an excellent reason to like something. That's exactly what I think, too. So, what did you do this weekend, Kate? Oh, Diane and I went for a drive in the country on Saturday. That sounds nice. Where did you go? We drove to the lake and had a picnic. We had a great time. How about you? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just worked on my car all day. That old thing? Why don't you just buy a new one? But then, what would I do every weekend? It's my wife's birthday, and I'm going to buy her some flowers. Perhaps you'd be interested in red roses? How much do the roses cost? They're only $20 a dozen. That sounds good, since last year I paid $30. Yes, you're saving money because they're on sale today. I'll take a dozen of your most beautiful roses. Could I interest you in anything else? No. I'll just give her the roses and a card. She should be very pleased with these roses. Oh, Ashley, your dinner looks delicious. I appreciate the compliment, Joe. What would you prefer with your meal? Wine, mango juice, or water? Mango juice would be a good choice for me. Julie can pour your drink for you. Can I offer you some chicken? Yes, the chicken looks yummy. Would you like some salad to go with your chicken? Yes, I would enjoy having some salad. I have also prepared rice. Are you ready for some rice? Yes, chicken and rice are a favorite of mine. Good. Julie, could you pass this plate to Joe so we can get started? Operator, may I help you? Yes. How do I get an outside line, please? 
Just dial zero, wait for the dial tone, and then dial the phone number you want to call. Or we can place a call for you if you want. No, thanks a lot. I'll try it myself. Hi, Charles. What's the matter? Oh, my car isn't working. I'm waiting for a tow truck. Do you have a ride home? Yes, my wife is coming to get me. That's good. Do you live near here? No, we live in the suburbs. What about you? I live downtown with my parents. Do you have a car? I don't need a car. I walk to work. Oh, you're lucky. I had the worst date the other night. What happened? First of all, he was half an hour late. That's not a good start. Then he didn't bother to apologize. That's rude. Then he drove too fast to the restaurant. That's dangerous. I thought about getting out and taking a taxi home. What happened at the restaurant? We had a forty-dollar meal. And he left one dollar tip. I guess you can't go back to that restaurant. Hi, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. So, how do you like it? Well, the salary is a little low, but the students are nice. How are things with you? Not bad. You know, I'm an air traffic controller now. Now that's an exciting job. Yes, but it's very stressful. Some people have good noses. I wish I had a good nose. Mine is way too big. I don't mean good looking. I mean good smelling. Oh, but that can be a curse. Yes, because you can be too sensitive to odors. I'll say my girlfriend has a nose like a drug dog. Did she catch you using drugs? Sort of. She knows whenever I sneak a cigarette. You don't need a good nose for that. Cigarettes stink. But when I sneak just one cigarette in the morning, she can smell it that evening. Boy, that is a good nose. I told her she should apply for a job at customs. What's your new girlfriend like? Catherine? Well, she's good at languages. Does she know how to speak Spanish? She knows how to speak Spanish and Japanese. Wow! And she's good at sports too. She knows how to play tennis and basketball. That's terrific. But there's one thing she's not good at. What's that? She's not good at remembering things. We have a date, and she's an hour late. I want to go on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? I want to cruise to Hawaii. That should be a nice trip. Lots of fun and lots of food. I have no idea how much it will cost. I think it depends on the season and your cabin. Well, of course, I want to go when the weather is nice. Yes, you don't want to travel in winter storms. And I want to get a big cabin with a view. Are you going to travel alone? No, my sister and I will travel together. Well, you should go online and try to find a good deal. Diane Grant, I haven't seen you for ages. Ryan, how have you been? Pretty good. Say, you've really changed. Oh well, I've lost some weight, and my hair is longer than before. Well, you look great. How are you? I'm doing really well. I got married about three years ago. I have two kids now. That's terrific. Have you seen our waiter? Here he comes now. We've been sitting here for almost ten minutes. Oops, I guess I was wrong. That isn't our waiter. We can give him five more minutes and then leave. I'll go up front and talk to the manager. That's a good idea. Maybe they'll give us free drinks for waiting so long. Maybe he'll send us our waiter immediately. Every time we eat out, it's an adventure. Last time we got seats next to the kitchen. We'll never go there again.
I have tickets to the Phantom of the Opera on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time is the show? It's at eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the theater before the show, around seven thirty. That sounds fine. Did you hear what happened at the baseball game? No. Please tell me. Someone punched out someone. That's not nice. It's worse than that. How so? Two guys got into an argument. I bet they were drinking. A third guy punched out one of the two guys. I bet he was drinking too. The victim hit his head on the concrete steps and died. That's terrible. Can't people just have fun at a baseball game? You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise very much? Well, I almost always get up very early, and I lift weights for an hour. You're kidding? No, and then I often go rollerblading. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. <laughs> I guess I'm a real couch potato. Do you like jazz, Tom? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Well, yes, I do. I'm a real fan of Wynton Marsalis. Oh, does he play the piano? No, he doesn't. He plays the trumpet. So, what kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Who's your favorite group? The Cranberries. I love their music. How about you? Do you like them? No, I don't. I can't stand them. Mary, how have you been? Josh and I just took a chance on our way home from the beach to see if you were up for visitors. I was just thinking about you yesterday. It's been ages since we had a chance to visit with you. Mary, please let me get the two of you something to drink. Oh, please don't go to any trouble. We just stopped by for a visit. Can I get you a little something to eat? We appreciate the offer, but we already ate. So tell me. How is your family doing? We are all doing well. My dad finally got to retire and is enjoying his leisure time. Hi, Nicole. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I cleaned the house and played tennis. Then on Sunday I hiked in the country. And I bet you studied too. Yeah, I studied on Sunday evening. What about you? Well, I didn't clean the house and I didn't study. I stayed in bed and watched TV. That sounds like fun. But did you exercise? Sort of. I played golf on my computer. Excuse me. Could you take a picture of us with this camera? Sure. Which button do I press to shoot? This one. Do I have to focus it? No, this is a focus-free camera. All you have to do is point and press the button. All right. Say cheese. Robert, are you going to be in town this weekend? I don't have anything scheduled yet. We were wondering if you would like to come to Mary's birthday party on Saturday. I would enjoy coming to Mary's party. Will it be at your house? The party will be at Jay's house out by the pool. Will everyone be pitching in with some food? It would be great if you could bring a side dish, but the rest of the food will be provided. What should we wear? This is a pool party, so make sure to bring your bathing suit. Sounds like we'll have a great time. When you figure it out, the details. Drop me an email. You're in great shape, Keith. Do you work out at a gym? Yeah, I do. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. So, how often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics every day after work, and then I play racquetball. Say, I like racquetball too. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. 
But I'm not very good. No problem, Rod. I won't play too hard. Hi, Victor. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. So, are you going to go to class tonight? Maybe, but I don't think so. Really? What's the matter? I don't know. I'm just feeling a little sad. Listen, come with me to class, and after class we can go out for dinner. Hmm. Now that's a good idea. Thanks a lot, Brian. I'm feeling better already. I can't figure out what to get Mary for her birthday. I'm having a problem figuring that out myself. Do you want to pick something out together? Yes. That way we would have more money to spend. She has a lot of interest. What things do you think she likes to do the best? Well, she really likes going hiking, listening to music, and travel. The music idea sounds good. I wonder who knows what concert she might like to go to. Maybe we could ask her roommate, Malia, who her favorite groups are. Malia would be great help. She knows Mary a long time. Let's email Malia and ask her for her suggestions. I think that maybe Malia might like to contribute to this gift too. Were you born in the U.S., Melissa? No, I wasn't. I came here in 1992. How old were you? I was 17. So did you go to college right away? No, because my English wasn't very good. I studied English for two years first. Wow, your English is really fluent now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. What kinds of things do you like to do? When I have time, I sometimes draw and paint. You know how to draw and paint? Yes, I do. How long have you known how to do that? I was taught in high school how to draw and paint. Oh, so you took an art class. That was my favorite class. Well, it's good that you're so talented. Thank you very much. If only I was talented. I'm sure you have a talent. Everyone has talent. They just need to find it. Look! These jackets are nice. Which one do you like better? I like the wool one better. Really? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I prefer the leather one. It's more attractive than the wool one. Hmm. There's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no. That's okay. But thank you anyway. You're welcome. 